Okay, so now that we have eliminated do nothing, we still have D1 and D2 to go, so we must repeat, instead of uh, step number six, we must repeat steps three to five, but now we're gonna do this for design one competing against design number two. Okay, so we have the change in B. So it's going to be the benefits of design 2 minus the benefits of design 1. And then we have the change in cost, which are going to be the costs of design 2 minus the costs of design 1. So now we need to plug in the values. Okay, so we have the costs here, uh, total costs here, and then the benefits up there. For the benefits, uh, it's going to be one million fifty thousand minus eight hundred thousand. Okay, these are going to be two hundred and fifty thousand. And then for the total costs for D2, it's one million. Then again, we want these to be positive, and even though if we draw them, they will be going down. But for the ratio, we don't want negative ratio, so that's why we we need to get the absolute value of the costs. It's one million thirty thousand seven hundred and fifty minus six hundred and eighty-five thousand five hundred. This will give us three hundred and forty-five thousand. Okay, and then we get the ratio for the benefit cost two hundred and fifty thousand divided by three hundred and forty-five thousand two hundred and fifty. This would give us point seventy-two which is going to be less than 1.0 so in this case we eliminate the one with the higher total cost which in this case is going to be D2 and D1 is a survivor and so we eliminated D2, we do not have any more alternatives left, so D1, we'll just keep D1, no more alternatives.